Hello everyone, myself Soumya Grover, Assistant Professor Jagannath University. Today we will be learning about the 7 C's of communication. We understand how effective communication is being done and with the help of these 7 C's, how are we able to communicate in a very effective manner. There are seven C's of effective communication which are applicable to both written as well as oral communication. For transmitting effective written or oral messages, certain principles must be followed. These principles are advocated by Frankis J. Bergen, provide guidelines for choice of content and style of presentation adapted to the purpose of the receiver of the message. They are also called the seven C's of communication. These are completeness, conciseness, clarity, correctness, consideration, courtesy and concreteness. Let's understand them in depth. Completeness. Every communication must be complete and adequate. Incomplete messages keep the receiver guessing, create misunderstanding and delay actions. Every person should therefore be provided with all the required facts and figures. For example, when factory supervisor instructs the workers to produce, he must specify the exact size, shape, quality and cost of the product. Any assumptions behind the messages should also be clarified. While answering a letter, all the questions raised in the letter must be replied. The communication must be complete. It should convey all facts required by the audience. The sender of the message must take into consideration the receiver's mindset and convey the message accordingly. A complete communication has the following features. Complete communication develops and enhances reputation of an organization. Moreover, they are cost saving as no crucial information is missing and no additional cost is incurred in conveying extra message if the communication is complete. A complete communication always gives additional information wherever required. It leaves no questions in the mind of the receiver. Complete communication helps in better decision making by the audience, readers, receivers of message as they get all desired and crucial information. It persuades the audience. The next C is conciseness. In communication, you should be brief and be able to say whatever you have to say in fewest possible words without sacrificing the other C quality. Conciseness is desired because of the following benefits. A concise message saves time and expense for both sender and receiver. Conciseness contributes to emphasis by Eliminating unnecessary words, you let important ideas stand out. When combined with a you view, concise messages are inherently more interesting to recipients as they avoid unnecessary information. Conciseness means wordiness, that is, communicating what you want to convey in least possible words without foregoing the other C's of communication. Conciseness is a necessity for effective communication. Concise communication has the following features. It is both time-saving as well as cost-saving. It underlines and highlights the main message as it avoids using excessive and needless words. 
concise communication provides short and essential message in limited words to the audience. Concise message is more appealing and comprehensible to the audience. Concise message is non-repetitive in nature. The next C is clarity. Clarity means getting your message across so the receiver will understand what you are trying to convey. You want that person to interpret your words with the same meaning you have in mind. Accomplishing that goal is difficult because, as you know, individual experiences are never identical and words have different meanings to different persons. Here are some specific ways to help make your message clear. Choose short, familiar and conversational words. Construct effective sentences and paragraphs. Achieve appropriate readability and listenability. Include examples, illustrations and other visual aids when desirable. Clarity implies emphasizing on a specific message or goal at a time, rather than trying to achieve too much at once. Clarity in communication has following features. It makes understanding easier. Complete clarity of thoughts and ideas enhance the meaning of message. Clear message makes use of exact, appropriate and concrete words. Let's, let's jump to the next C of communication. The next C says correctness. What is correctness? The term correctness as applied to business messages means right level of language and accuracy of facts, figures and words. If the information is not correctly conveyed, the sender will lose credibility. The transmission of incorrect information to superior, superiors with vitiate decision making process. Transmission of incorrect information to outsiders will spoil the public image of the firm. To convey correct messages, grammatical errors should also be avoided. You should not transmit any message unless you are absolutely sure of it correct. Correctness in communication implies that there are no grammatical errors in communication. Correct communication has the following features. The message is exact, correct and well-timed. If the communication is correct, it boosts up the confidence level. Correct message has greater impact on the audience or readers. It checks for the precision and accurateness of facts and figures used in the message. It makes use of appropriate and correct language in the message. Let's talk about the next C of communication. Consideration. Consideration means that you prepare every message with the recipient in mind and try to put yourself in his or her place. You try to visualize your readers or listeners with their desire, problems, circumstances, emotions and probable reactions to your request. Then handle the matter from their point of view. This thoughtful consideration is also called you attitude. Empathy, the human touch and understanding of human nature. It does not mean, however, that you should overlook the needs of your organization. Consideration implies stepping into the shoes of others. Effective communication must take the audience into consideration. That is, the audience's point, viewpoints, background, mindset, education level, etc. Make an attempt to envisage your audience their requirements, emotions, as well as problems. Ensure that the self-respect of the audience is maintained and their emotions are not at harm. Modify your words and message to suit the audience needs while making your message complete. 
the features of considerate communication are as follows emphasizing on the you approach empathize with the audience and exhibit interest in the audience this will stimulate a positive reaction from the audience show optimism towards your audience emphasize on what is possible rather than what is impossible lay stress on positive words such as jovial committed thanks warm healthy help etc consideration underlies the other six c's of good business communication you adapt your language and message content to your receiver's needs when you make your message complete concise concrete clear courteous and correct however in four specific ways you can indicate you are considerate focus on you instead of i and we show reader benefit or interest in reader emphasize positive pleasant facts apply integrity and ethic the next c of communication is courtesy what is courtesy courteous message help to strengthen present business friendships as well as make new friends courtesy stems from sincere you attitude it is not merely politeness with mechanical insertions of pleases and thank you to be courteous considerate communicators should follow these suggestions regarding tone of the communication be sincerely tactful thoughtful and appreciative omit expressions that irritate hurt or belittle grant and apologize good naturedly courtesy in message implies the message should show the sender's expression as well as should respect the receiver the sender of the message should be sincerely polite judicious reflective and enthusiastic courteous message has following features courtesy implies taking into consideration both viewpoints as well as feelings of the receiver of the message courteous message is positive and focused at the audience it makes use of terms showing respect for the receiver of message it is not at all biased the next c is concreteness a very again a very important term communicating concretely means being specific definite and vivid rather than vague and general the following guidelines should help you compose concrete convincing messages use specific facts and figures put action in your verbs choose vivid image building words concrete communication implies being particular and clear rather than fuzzy and in general concreteness strengthens the confidence concrete message has the following features it is supported with specific facts and figures it makes use of words that are clear and that build the reputation concrete messages are never misinterpreted that's all for today we have thoroughly understood the seven c's of communication so what are these seven c's of communication they are completeness conciseness consideration clarity concreteness courtesy and correctness all these seven c's of communication makes you an effective communicator thank you so much